phone. So someone could be doing a lot of work, someone could be busy, someone could be doing some work on a computer. Um, you could be doing this um, with grace, with ease, balancing on one leg. You could be making someone look like a clown. Someone could be in trouble. Sent to principal's office, magician, chicken dance, smelly socks. Someone could be getting in trouble for some sort of illusions that they cause. They're um, dancing like a chicken. You know those chickens with like the hot plates underneath them? I don't know if you've ever seen Pure Country, like where they talk about... Um, how uh, there was a dancing chicken and it was like because there was a fire underneath the stage or a hot plate or something that was making the chicken dance around. So someone could be dancing around like a chicken, putting on like a dance, a show, like trying to make a distraction, okay? So someone could be in trouble for creating an illusion and um, something could be a distraction or um, like, uh, uh, like some someone's just trying to do... Uh, Keep your attention elsewhere while something else is going on. Answering the phone, banjo, treading water on Halloween. So there could be something about someone receiving some sort of communication, receiving a phone call. Um, let's see here. Treading water. Someone could be treading water. Someone could be treading lightly regarding some sort of communication. There could have been something significant around Halloween that happened. Someone's birthday could be Halloween. It doesn't have to be. Maybe you just like Halloween. Gorilla, whoopee cushion, mailing a letter, an ice cream cone. So there is a masculine energy um, who could be just looking like a fool. Um, there's some sort of communication, once again, with mailing a letter and ice cream. So there could be some sort of communication that's growing cold with a masculine energy. Someone's trying to distract you. So this could be in the form of technology um, with mail, um, email. Uh, phone calls, whatever the, whatever the, you know, the communication, the methodology of what's going on. Someone could be busy, you could be busy, you could be focused trying to work on something. Someone could be trying to distract you, creating an illusion to stop you from doing what you need to be doing. Someone needs to tread lightly, though, because someone's kind of making an ass of themselves with a whoopee cushion. Someone's going to be left looking like a fool. Um, because if their communication goes ice cold, or you could be becoming cold in your communication with them if you sense that someone's playing games with you. Like, you're not going to chase somebody. So if someone's trying to get you to chase after them, that's not what's going to happen. You're not interested in, like, the runner-chaser BS. You would just move along because you know your worth, you know your value. Let's see if there's anything that comes out of here. I'm not getting anything. Let's check my meme cards. I'll use those for a minute. Something was possibly just a waste of time, or somebody was just trying to waste your time. When you realize Space Jam came out over 20 years ago, so there could be an age difference or something significant to 20 years. Someone could be in their 20s. Um, someone could be acting like they're in their 20s. Hmm. There could be an age difference here. So there could be someone who's older than you, who's acting immature, possibly childish. Maybe they want you to chase after them. Maybe they grew cold in their communication and they're, you know, they're expecting you to, like, blow up their phone or something like that. Something didn't happen that way, though. Alright, not getting anything else out of there. Let's move on. So something is a waste of time. What is a waste of time here? Someone's crying. Because they're attached, so someone with an age difference, that, oh, okay, so someone is crying because they're attached, okay, so they could be cold in their communication, wanting to be wanted, wanting to be chased, but they could have an attachment, they could be wanting to be attached to you, but, you know, they're already in a, they're already in a situation where they're attached to somebody else, so something is a waste of time, there's not going to be a commitment with this person, I feel like there's no commitment or this person is non-committal because they're already attached so someone's crying about who they're attached to 
Maybe they've been together for over 20 years. Yeah, somebody was a horse's ass, okay? Somebody was disloyal to someone. So this could have been somebody who was disloyal to the person they're attached to. Maybe they thought you were going to be loyal to them. Um, you know, but the fat lady has slung on a situation. Someone was trying to keep you going in circles, just confused about the reality of what was going on. Someone was just playing games, you know, having you chase your tail, making yourself dizzy, dog chasing his tail is on here. So this person was just trying to make you dizzy or they were making themselves dizzy trying to keep up with you or thinking they could keep up with you. So you could be cutting someone off if they're playing games with you. It's like somebody may have wanted something just, you know, like casual, something like that. But the reason is that they don't want to commit to you or they can't commit to you is because they're dealing with somebody else. So they could have been communicating with you on technology or watching you on technology. You're very busy, you have shit to do. And somebody was wasting your time. Date night in the reverse. Get ready to be wine and dine. This person had no intention of taking you out on a date, whining you, dining you. You know, treating you how, you know, you should be treated. Especially if you're a divine femme or even masculine. You know, sometimes you like to be wine and dine too. <laughs> you know, I don't... But, you know, date night in the reverse. Something... Uh, date could have got cancelled. Could have gotten cancelled or... Somebody just wasn't interested in dating. Then maybe they were just interested in sex. Air sign Gemini, Libra, Aquarius... Or this could be that somebody can't date you because they're married. They could be crying because they're attached to somebody else, but they've been watching you spy. Someone's got their eye on you doing their research. So somebody somebody that can't date you is spying on you. So this could be a married person who's spying on you, watching you. Pregnancy, someone is expecting. So they could have gotten someone pregnant. They could be attached to somebody because of a pregnancy or a child you could have been attached to them because maybe you had a child with them as well. So, you know, take it how it resonates. Or it could be both. Um, but somebody couldn't go out on a date with somebody because they have a child with somebody or they're attached, they're connected. Whether this is through marriage or a serious committed relationship. But they were watching you. Oh, so we have, they'll be back Expect to hear from them soon and a change of re residence moving in with your partner. So, you know, maybe there was something that was stalling this person out. They were crying, singing the blues, wanting something with you, and they couldn't make a move with you. And they were non-committal because they're attached to somebody. But someone could be moving, changing residences, and maybe after you move, you could be moving with them here. Um, someone could be making you an offer of a partnership you know taking your relationship to the next level this could happen after you cut them off okay so this could happen after you know there could be a situation where there's a disagreement um a lack of communication you know mercury retrograde is a bitch and there's all kinds of things going on right now so you know expect electronic issues you know i know i've had electronics stop working i've had two bulbs blow on me already um so yeah mercury retrograde is not playing around there's a lot that um you know needs to be balanced out in the spiritual realm and your ancestors the spirit guides are trying to talk to you try to tell you shit and of course they use communication through electronics and stuff like that to try to get your attention and stuff so just Oh, there's energy surges that could be going on. So watch your energy, stay neutral, stay grounded. Um, but somebody wants to grow with you. Somebody wants to regrow something possibly. So this could be somebody that you were in a relationship with, that you had a child with. Someone sees you as a mystery. Maybe somebody um, thinks it's a mystery of how you grow, how you transform how you heal. Somebody's feeling very protective over you. So someone may want you to live with them so they can protect you, love you. Um, you know, um, it's like maybe you've been through a lot, you know, and people have tried to hurt you. And so someone is feeling very protective over you. And they could have been dealing with somebody who didn't want to go through a rebirth and change. So um, I know I did a reading just a minute ago. I haven't uploaded it yet. But, well, I don't want to say a minute ago, but earlier. And, um, yeah, somebody was attached to somebody, they chose a karmic 
person that they were married to. Um, their marriage is pure hell. They decided to try to stay and work it out with that person, and it's not working out. So it could be, I'm not going to say 100%, but it could be that this person is going to decide to split up with that person and want to grow and move forward with you. Someone is determined here, Pisces. Someone could be admiring your determination. Or you could be admiring someone else's determination. Someone could be determined to date you, be with you. Someone could be willing to do whatever it takes to lock it down. Because they know you don't play games. So somebody could have been used to maybe playing games with other people, but they don't work on you. Yeah, somebody was sad about something. <sighs> somebody could have been feeling sad or depressed, possibly about a choice they made, um, or for having a lack of communication with you instead of healing something. So if there was some sort of disagreement, um, you know, instead of choosing to heal something with you, they could have just kind of ghosted you and went no contact with you. There's a witchy energy here. Um, that's significant here and someone who's loyal to another person. So someone could be sad that they are loyal to a witch. Okay. That they're partnered up, that they're in a relationship with a witch, a dark witch, um, somebody who's, you know, not on the right side of things or, you know, when I say witch, I don't necessarily mean casting spells, although it could be, um, but I'm just like someone who's just an asshole, um, man or woman, it doesn't matter. Um, this person is not happy, they're miserable. Um, it could also be a witch that's watching somebody want to partner up with you or want to be with you. There was someone here who was scared. So somebody was trying to lean on somebody, so somebody was sad, okay? Maybe you needed someone to talk to, maybe this was your friend, maybe you were trying to lean on somebody, get some sort, some sort of support, and they ghost you, left it, you know, you hanging, didn't help you when you needed them, whether it was just someone you needed to talk to, or maybe you thought this was going to go somewhere in a relationship. Um, somebody, somebody kind of got scared and ran off, so, you know, maybe they could be regretting their decision to back off. So this could be like, I said, the chase or runner kind of thing where somebody, when their emotions get involved, they start running because they don't like to deal with their emotions. There's going to be a reason to celebrate though. Because somebody wants to be loyal to you, but they may be dealing with a witchy energy that they need to get rid of first. Or they're already partnered up with this person. But there is going to be a reason to celebrate here. Somebody's birthday could be coming up as well. And I know that's, duh. <laughs> Every day is somebody's birthday. But somebody's birthday could be coming up as well. Or recently passed. Anything else before I move on? Alright. Oh, so we have a high priestess. So there's a high priestess here that's going to be celebrating. Somebody was scared, nervous. Maybe you needed a safe place to go, rest, relax. You didn't have one. And maybe, uh, you know, someone could have helped you out and they chose not to. Someone could have been pissed off to find out that someone was even considering helping you. So if this was somebody who was in a relationship and they were separated from them, possibly getting ready to go through a divorce or something, you know, take it how it resonates. Um, but there's a bitch, which, which bitch here. Um, energy, an angry, pissed off person, um, about the fact that someone may even considered helping you have a safe place to go, um, and it could be a man or a woman, it doesn't have to be a female, but there's something shocking that's going to happen here, someone was partnered up with someone else, so somebody that someone was partnered up with was pissed that they considered even helping you out, how dare you talk to them, how dare you offer this, how dare, how dare they even mention you helping them, why would they think you would help them, like, that's what I'm hearing, but this person tried to work something out with them and it didn't grow. The seeds didn't plant. Nothing was manifesting. Even if they had a child together, something was not growing. Like the family was not stable. There's no roots, okay? There's no stability to whatever they were trying to grow. And someone was not compassionate. They didn't offer someone an ace of cups because of this empress in the reverse energy, this feminine in the reverse And then we have this feminine in the upright who's an official person and you are someone's wish fulfillment and they're sad because they're seeing how awesome you are, how creative you are, how talented you are. You could be an artist and there's many kinds of artists. It doesn't necessarily have to be painting, but whatever you do, you 
it's you do it well and it's like it's an art form for you you're very gifted and talented regarding something and someone sees you as their wish fulfillment and it's really sad to them that they can't be with you yeah somebody was a coward somebody was weak okay so instead of you know being it's like somebody was afraid of doing the hard work you know they were afraid of the outcome of separating from somebody so someone chose to take the coward's way out and stay stuck in a situation but you're the one who's seen as someone who's held in high honor here You're manifesting a positive outcome here. So your manifestations are going to come true. You're seen as someone who's held in high honor. You're manifesting. Um, everything is heightened right now because of all this solar stuff, this Mercury retrograde. Feelings are, um, you know, be careful of any altercations at this time because, you know, the Aries thing, um, it, it can be very... Um, explosive if you get into even a verbal altercation or an argument something small can blow up very quickly so just be careful about that um but it's possible someone here who's held in high honor could be worried and focused someone could be focused on you um or money here so there's someone here you could be focused on your money growing planting some money um someone could be thinking about money if they choose to separate from somebody so once again that codependency energy yeah, you're in your life's calling. This is a challenge because you're in your life's calling here and someone tried to betray you. So you are the real deal. Like if you're spiritual, you know, you have a gift, you're an artist, whatever it is you do, you know, you could be making money doing this and other people may not see it as a job or a career or something worth pursuing, but that's your business. That's not their business. So someone may have thought you were just doing something for money and that you weren't really gifted or talented for it. Um, say you sell something on like Etsy or something that you make, you know, I'll just use that as an example. Like someone's just like, oh, they're just trying to make a quick buck. It's not really quality, you know, product or whatever, but maybe you have a really good product. You know, maybe there's a million people making candles, but they're you, your candles are like the best smelling candles. Like, you know how to mix those scents just right. You know, people may love your candles, um, something significant, maybe a scent or lotion, like, or some sort of spray. That could be significant, but you're very gifted and talented in something. Some sort of mixture or mixology could be significant. Someone rushed in hastily to do something regarding some sort of communication because they were weak or a coward. So they could have rushed in to just not communicate with you. It's like they could have been quick to cut you off and become very cold-hearted or detached or very short with you in their communication um, because they're dealing with this other situation that they did not close out a cycle with. We have the emperor here in the reverse, a masculine energy. So there's a masculine energy here. Husband, father, lover kind of figure. So it could be an ex person that you were with, you know, baby daddy. There was a financial imbalance. They were scared about a financial imbalance. So maybe if they've already been divorced or separated you know or maybe they have a couple kids they could have been worried about child support or how they're going to pay their bills or who's going to help them raise the kids kind of thing you know there was a financial imbalance regarding some sort of message and a decision that they made so this could have been some sort of legal action or or a decision that somebody made to take regarding some sort of money or finances or that caused a financial imbalance and once again this could be karma okay so if someone's trying to do some shit on you they could have taken a money hit or a money loss we have the king of wands here so say they were doing shady shit to you and all of a sudden everything started breaking down around them like vehicles home repairs stuff like that things started going wrong we have a king of wands and a king of cups you could be in your masculine energy or this could be regarding two masculines like to find out more about this since both of these masculines popped up so that may be another reason that you know there may be some sort of miscommunication or altercation there may be a lot of masculinity going around even if you're a feminine it's like you're both kind of 
I don't want to say throwing your weight around, but you know, you're not backing down. You're not a little punk ass bitch. <laughs> even if you're a woman, like you're not, you know, um, so even if it's, you know, one of you or both of you are females in this situation, um, there's a lot of masculinity going on here as far as like attitudes and the energy you're in. And there's nothing wrong with that. You have to be balanced. So there's not, you know, it's not a bad thing. It's just that maybe more, more cause for conflict because someone's spending a lot of time alone. Someone's in hermit mode here. So if someone's trying to play games with you and you've already been alone and isolated, you're very quick to cut someone off. Like, you're not wasting your time. Somebody couldn't stop thinking about something here. So somebody couldn't stop daydreaming or thinking about something with a page of cups. We have a positive outcome and the truth. Ace of Swords. So some sort of truth is going to be revealed, spoken. There's going to be a time of enlightenment. Um, when someone gets the balls to, you know, has the testicular fortitude to speak the truth, there will be a reason to celebrate, but this is going to have someone in despair. Because someone rushed in with some lies, okay? When they said they weren't thinking about you or they weren't having thoughts about you, they were lying. If their person that they're with called them out on this and they're like, oh, you're just thinking about them, you want to be with them, and they're like, no, bitch, I don't want to be with them. Yeah, he was thinking about it, okay? You know, he was thinking about something. Um, whether it was, you know, sex or a relationship. If you guys had been together, he could have been thinking about how much easier life was with you than this person. I don't know. <laughs> Even if you're both in your masculine energy, um, you know, things are, are very difficult. So things could be very difficult with whoever someone's with. If there was someone and, you know, they're both in their masculine energy, uh, someone's in despair because someone's seeds are growing, planted. You know, you could be receiving money for whatever you're working on. So someone could have been happy if they would have heard about you losing money or maybe not having a job opportunity. Um, you know, somebody only cared about protecting their financial stability or security. So once again, there's a financial codependency going on in this situation. Somebody lied about their finances. Um... You know, it's like somebody made a bad decision, not really logical. I don't want to say head over heart decision because it wasn't really logical. It was self-serving. Somebody didn't want to be alone or deal with the consequences of being alone. And they didn't want the financial burdens of doing something alone. And you're seeing as someone who's held in high honor, you're high honor and you're going to be moving, traveling. Um, this is somebody that you could have known since childhood. There's a, trans a transformation, a change. Um, this could be with um, someone who's older. So there could be like a 20-year age difference, you know, with the Space Jam thing that came out. Um, there could be a significant age difference of somebody who wants to um, live with you or be with you, partner up with you. Um, this could be a mother figure, father figure. Um, but somebody was very reckless and careless with the Knight of Wands with some sort of information regarding their financial stability. They could have even lied about being broke, okay? They could have had a have buttload of money saved and they could have lied and said they were broke. They weren't going to do this. They weren't going to do that. Um, they were very careless, okay? So they could have tried to put someone on... Um, Someone could have tried to take someone to court for, like, child support, something like that. I don't know. They were very reckless. Like, they wanted money. They only cared about money. Um, they were afraid of losing it. So maybe they were afraid if they separated from, you know, a divine... Um, well, I'm not going to say they're divine femme, but if they separated from whoever they were with, they could have been afraid of paying child support or something or having to support someone because they don't want to work. You're, you're creative. Page of Pentacles. You may be creative in how you make your money. You're an artist, okay? This gives me, like, bohemian energy. Like, you're creative. You're an artist. You're good at what you do. And you're at peace, okay? Like I said, you have to protect your peace. Maintain your peace at this time. You have a lot of people that's trying to come against you, whether you can feel it energetically or not. You are protected by a bubble. However, um, and this could be even people trying to create conflict for you to disrupt your creativity however you're protected okay and there could be a group of people here scrambling to put something together to help you out maybe they enjoy what you do maybe they like your creativity maybe they want to work with you maybe they want to pay you for your services um, maybe you're really good maybe you're a coordinator or organizer or something like that 
but there's an emotional situation here because of a decision that somebody made with some reckless, careless communication. Um, and it could even have even been to you, like maybe they started getting shitty with you, short with you, hateful to you, and you did nothing but be nice to this person. They sure as hell weren't there when you needed them because they were deal dealing with, you know, baby mama drama or whatever they got going on. There was a message of concern regarding a decision that someone made. If they made a decision to try to cause you harm out of selfishness, out of spite, just to hurt you and get under your skin, that's going to backfire on this person. I hope they know that's going back tenfold, whether you say it, think it, breathe it, whatever. I hope they know that's going back because you're going to have your happiness, your family stability, your ten of cups. And there's an emotional situation regarding you having this. I don't know why someone's all emotional about you having stability. Maybe that would mean that you would have custody of a child or, you know, they wouldn't and they would have to pay support. Um whether you're the karmic or the divine femme, you know, whether you're the divine masculine, there's going to be some information or communication regarding a past lover and some sort of action that they took. They could have been a smart ass, a dumb ass, and filed some sort of report or court papers against you. That's been coming out recently. Someone's trying to be sneaky in some shit. Now they're going to try to come back and take some shit back that they said. They're going to keep wasting their money. They're going to take a financial hit doing this stupid shit because it's going to come back on them. I said temple and when I said tenfold, I meant tenfold, not threefold. This shit's coming back times ten with interest. Because you're a divine person, you're a star, you have divine protection, you're a high priestess, and you don't abuse your power, whoever you are. Even if you're a masculine, if you're a high priest, you're not, you don't abuse your power. If you do anything, if you even do magic, witchcraft, anything like that, you do things in an upright way. You don't just go around hexing and cursing people. You have a certain ethic standard that you follow. You don't just go do shit because someone asks you to do it to make a buck. Okay, so, and you know, I'm not going to get into that. No judgment. I, you know, I myself don't do that stuff. But, you know, whoever you are, you you do the right things. I don't know. I think there's like a form of divination. Or there's something you do to determine whether or not someone is actually worthy of having something done whenever you do some sort of binding spell something like that there's a way that you do it where you try to protect yourself um but if you know something's going to backfire I, I feel like you would be the person that would say no i'm not going to do that because you would know that you would catch some hell for that too king of pentacles here could be significant so someone's wealth could be significant. There could be some sort of communication or information regarding wealth or a wealthy masculine, someone who's good with money. <clears throat> There's going to be a message from a wealthy masculine, someone who does have money. Um, you could be juggling finances, okay? So um, there's someone here who's juggling possibly money someone was in despair because something's not moving forward for them and there's an emotional situation so there could be an offer okay so if you're juggling money finances trying to get your shit together there could be a masculine here who's got a few bucks in his pocket that wants to help you out and it's not like a sugar daddy sugar baby thing um this person could really want to genuinely genuinely want to help you out uh, possibly even partner up with you and someone is not going to be happy about that, okay? They're going to be in despair because they couldn't stop you. They created an emotional situation. And if you know who it is, then, you know, if they wanted a second chance with you, they may have blown it. I'm not saying that that is the wealthy masculine because we had the, the king of cups and the king of wands come out. So this could be a completely different, this is a completely different masculine here. But this masculine may know one or two. They, they may know the other two. I mean, it could be a group of guys. I don't know. It could be part of the same group or organization. So someone tried to stop you by getting you left out in the cold. And they were trying to keep it a secret that they were doing shady shit to keep you out in the cold. But you're a bad mamma jamma. You have that ten of wands here. You have that perseverance to keep going and make it through. So even though you're heavily burdened and other people are putting their shit on you, you're still getting through it. You're manifesting, moving, traveling, and it's going to happen for you. So somebody wanted you to be kicked out of a house. 
they were secretly trying to get you to be homeless, kicked out of a house, to lose a home, possibly a business. Um, so this could be work as well. So someone tried to get you uh, possibly fired from your job or from kicked out of a home. But the offer you've been waiting for is coming to you. You may just have to move or travel. Someone may be traveling towards you. Or you may have to travel or move a distance for this offer that you've been waiting for. But there's something really good that's going to work out in your favor when this does happen. Yeah, you get a clean slate, a new beginning. So you're going to get this clean slate. And for some reason, that's a problem for somebody else. Okay, it looks like there's a barrier here. There's a barrier to someone coming towards you with an offer with the Knight of Cups. And the Seven of Pentacles. So something you're growing, something you're working on, your abundance. So a barrier for some... Okay, so maybe this wealthy masculine doesn't like what you do for work. Maybe they're religious and you're spiritual... Something like that. Um, if you're a high priestess, you would have to be, you know, um, have a form of spirituality or religion. Maybe it's not the same one. But there's a barrier standing in the way of someone com coming towards you with an offer. And it could be related to money here. It's something related to money. Maybe they feel like they need to make some money. Um, they admire what you do for money. Someone admires you. So someone admires you, but they... They don't agree with it? Like, what? <laughs> what kind of shit is that? So they admire what you do, but maybe they don't believe in it? So say you're a tarot card reader or something, so maybe someone admires what you do, how you do it, but they don't believe in it, so they're like, oh, it's horse shit, like, it's evil, or I don't know. It's like they admire what you do, but they don't agree with it, and it's a barrier. I don't know, that's weird. Someone was a thief? You're in a new cycle. Someone wants to give you a gift, a wine. There's going to be some happy communication. There's going to be happy memories. This could be someone that you have happy, happy memories with. So it could be someone from your past. But it's a good person, so don't yell, Oh, I wouldn't take this person back if they were, like, the last person on Earth. Okay, well then don't, okay? Like, I don't know. Then don't. But this is someone that you either have happy memories of, fond memories of. Someone's having fond memories of you. They want to gift you something. Um, this isn't someone that, like, you guys tried to, like, take each other out. Like, this isn't Mr. and Mrs. Smith kind of thing. Like, this is this is something, um, maybe they want to make happy me new memories with you. Maybe if you've been through a lot of shit, you know, they're feeling protective. They want to cover up that bad shit by making new memories with you with this new star, this new beginning. A new move, job change, relationship. Um, someone wants to have this new start. They want you to have a new start. And they want to make good memories with you. <coughs> Excuse me, I choked. <coughs> Went down the wrong pipe. <laughs> so there's a star here in the reverse. Somebody was evil. Um, somebody could have gotten left out in the cold. It's over. So we have the king of cups and the official person. So... There's a king of cups here, maybe, that left um, some evil witch out in the cold and ended something so that they could go towards their official person. Hmm. So maybe they're in their king of wands energy, but they want to be in their king of cups energy, so it could be the same masculine... If you're not in your masculine... There's just a lot of masculine energy up in this piece. I mean, whoever it is, they're balanced. Because we did have the feminine energy come out a little bit in the um, Wizard of Oz cards. But still. someone Someone's in their masculine energy very heavily at this time. Even if they are a feminine... Don't give up on your dreams came out sideways. So someone may support you. They may be supportive. Um, they don't want you to give up on what you're doing. They may like what you're doing. Like I said, someone may want to partner up with you. Maybe they love what you do. Maybe they just don't agree with it. Or 
maybe they're afraid their family won't agree with it or accept you or something like that. There's something, there's a barrier connected to it in some sort of way. And it may have to do with maybe you won't make a lot of money doing it. So maybe it's a slow starting thing. Maybe you don't get rich doing it. You just do it because you love doing it. Someone was purposefully lying to cover their ass. And they were guilty. So someone was guilty of doing something shady to you and they were lying to cover their ass. That had to do with some sort of communication. So they were guilty. They could have cut you off, became cold-hearted. They were guilty of screwing you over and possibly choosing someone else over you. They lied about being in a relationship with you. So they could have lied about having feelings for you or about being in a relationship with you. Maybe they said they were with you when they weren't. Or maybe when you were together, they could have cheated on you with somebody else and they were guilty of doing something shady. Someone could have too many fake profiles to count. So someone could be watching you on technology from a lot of fake profiles. And you may be picking up on this energetically. Like, say, I don't know, when someone comments or something, or somebody sends you an email, whatever, if you have a platform, you may pick up on something. Like, you may not be able to pinpoint what it is, but you're picking up on something. And as I'm smell, I'm saying that, I just caught a whiff of, like, I don't know, some, like, masculine, I don't know, some sort of masculine clone or something. Or, like, I don't know if it's aftershave or deodorant. Someone had no shame. They were unapologetic. They were full of air. Okay, so if they acted like they cared, they didn't because they didn't help you when you needed them. They were not telling the truth. Telling the truth is in the reverse, and then you need to speak the truth is in the reverse. So someone was going back and forth on whether or not to tell you the truth. It's like, should I tell them the truth? Should I not tell them the truth? They did something really shady to you. They were deceiving themselves. You're deceiving yourselves in the reverse. They were not being guided by their ancestors. This is a twin flame connection. So they were just lonely and confused. I told you it was going back ten times. Return to sender. Ex-spouse is involved. Something's going back to your ex-spouse ten times. They're looking at your photo. They could be missing you. They're in deep regret. They're remembering those happy times with you. Smiles are contagious, be a carrier, so something could have been significant about the mail or a letter. Actions speak louder than words, though, and you have a soulmate connection with someone. Someone was falsely arrested, or someone could have had to try, tried to have someone falsely arrested. So someone that they had a soul connection with or a soul tie to could have had them arrested. So your ex-spouse could have went to jail because someone, you know threatened them if they left them this is what's going to happen there was an injustice an injustice being made right someone was trying to stop an injustice being made right they owe you money so somebody owes another person money or is giving someone money and um so somebody felt like there was an injustice maybe because you received money from your ex or something this person may have separated from this person demanded some money themselves they didn't want to give it up there could have been a fight an altercation somebody could have went to jail been arrested um, it looks like a mess here, but this is somebody that they had a soul connection with, and this person could be like your twin flame. Well, a twin flame connection, I don't know, there's a soul tie and a twin flame tie here, so whichever you are on that scenario. This is the blind leading the blind, man. This is someone who could have been being guided by this person because they were trying to keep the peace and save their situation or their marriage. But luck is on your side. Luck of the Irish. Cancer flipped out when it fell out of my hand. So someone who could be cancer has the luck of the Irish. Because you healed your wounds. Don't burn your bridges. Someone better tread lightly and be careful. I don't care how pissed off at you, at you they are. If you have a child together... If they expect to have some sort of good communication with you in the future, they better watch their P's and Q's when they talk to you because you don't put up with shit. A penny saved is a penny earned. Someone wanted you to be in poverty or somebody was in poverty. Someone's bad to the bone here. Someone really didn't want you to get money or finances because if you are independent and self-sufficient, then if you get this ten of cups, that bothers them. That affects them in some sort of way because someone's in hot water here. 
Someone did something really shady. Oh, the dark before the dawn and beggars can't be choosers. So someone's getting ready to possibly head into poverty here. Beggars can't be choosers, the dark before the dawn. Someone's not getting out of this bad space. If they wanted you in poverty, it's going to happen for them. If they wanted you to be begging, if they didn't want you to come out of this dark space, you may have been dealing with this shit for years. It's time for you to come out of it. But if there's an ex-spouse of yours that was trying to keep you stuck because of whoever they're dealing with now, they're both going to be in hot water. And I'm telling you, that shit went back times ten. I'm not... I'm not stuttering i'm not mixing my words i heard 10 with interest what goes around comes around opposites attract so someone who is your opposite is going to get exactly what they deserve so the false person this crazy ass b this wannabe who's so jealous of you you know someone judged a book by its cover and the scales have to be balanced out libra energy you could be a libra they could be a libra every dog has this day man every dog has this day <clears throat> This person who is opposite of you wanted to have a moment of in the sun. They could have been doing some sort of grave magic or something like that. Roll over in the grave. They could have went to the cemetery, got some grave dirt. I mean, they were, they could have been trying to hex and curse you for real, for real. If they're opposite of you and you're a light worker and you do things in the upright, whether you're a light worker, whatever you you know, whatever. There's so many different paths of spirituality, just like there is religion. Okay, so, I mean, you can't really narrow it down. But once again, cancer is significant here. <clears throat> you reap what you sow in 24 hours. So, in the next 24 hours or in the past 24 hours, someone is going to reap what they have sown for what they have done. Someone could be apologizing for what their crazy-ass spouse did. Someone's never looking back. So someone did something really stupid. They could have lost their temper within the last 24 hours. Um, they could be losing their temper in the next 24 hours. Um, but someone's never looking back. Someone's going to leave this person. Someone's getting left out in the cold. This is the king or queen of wands in the reverse energy. March could be significant. Someone really thought something was going to be easy. If they thought they were going to steal something from you, they're, they're about to be pissed off and disappointed. Someone's going to be pissed off and angry on a Sunday. This could be a karmic energy who's going to be pissed off on a Sunday. Because someone's flying the coop. Someone's leaving. You know, they didn't want to see the writing on the wall. They didn't want someone to be happy. They were trying to make someone miserable. And that shit's as dead as a doornail. You're dedicated, man. No guts, no glory. Pisces energy, once again. Determination, dedicate. You know, you're determined to make this shit work. Someone wanted to conquer you. Like, they didn't care who got hurt in the process. As long as you weren't happy, as long as they could claim a victory over you, but they're beating a dead horse. There's a whole group of people. Fine kettle of fish. They could have had a group of people in this. There's a silver lining coming. Even if you don't see it, there is a silver lining to this. And something's going to work out for you. You may not see it yet, but there's going to be. Alright, person, place, or a thing. The letter M could be significant. W. I just smelled that masculine cologne again, or whatever it is. I don't know if it's aftershave or what. H. I don't know if I've ever smelled it before. It smells like someone's getting ready for a date or something, or getting ready to do something. Q. P. T. S. And S. So I'm M W H. Q, P, K, T, S, S. I hope this helps. Have a good day.